This video um, is actually walking through solving a Fermi question. So the Fermi question is, how much would it cost to fill the classroom with pumpkin spice latte? Um, it's fall, uh, or the fall semester, actually it's technically still summer, but it's the fall semester. Pumpkin spice lattes are already back in Starbucks. Even Krispy Kreme has pumpkin spice stuff, so we're just running with that, okay? I like me some pumpkin spice latte. Anyway, before we can start this, we need our assumptions. So the first assumption is that the classroom is watertight. In reality, if we started filling the classroom with, with anything liquid, it wouldn't stay, right? It would seep under the doors. Even if we, even if we taped off and, and blocked up where the doors wouldn't let it out underneath the doors, I'm in a science classroom, so I have sinks all over the place, so it would start draining out as soon as it got high enough for that. But we'll just pretend. So we're going to assume that our classroom is watertight. We're going to assume that our classroom is empty. There's not a lot of desks or anything like that. So we're assuming that that's empty. You know, we're, we're going to assume that we could actually do this. Um, we're also going to assume some dimensions. So we're going to assume 41 feet by 32 feet by 9 feet. So that's gonna, we're going to use that to find our volume. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some assumptions about the coffee itself. So we're going to assume that we're going to, we're using a grande. This is Starbucks. So we're using a grande. That's their medium. And a grande is 16 ounces. So we're going to go with that. And I don't remember what the exact price is because I always just like give them my app. But anyway, I think it's around 548 for the pumpkin spice latte. And sometimes that varies by store. But so those are the assumptions we're going to make on that. So it's a grande, it's 16 ounces per cup, or, you know, per, you know, coffee, and it's 548 each. Those are our assumptions. Once we have those, then we go through our steps. Okay, these are the same steps that we went through in the previous video. And the steps are basically, the first one, you find the volume of the larger, whatever you're dealing with. In this case, it's a classroom. Then you find the volume of the smaller thing. In this case, it's our coffee. Then you divide the two. So you divide the volume of the classroom divided by the volume of the coffee. And then once we have that, that gives us our number of coffees, and then we're going to use that and answer any remaining questions. Okay, so our step one is find the volume of the larger. In this case, it's our classroom. So our volume of our classroom is 41 feet times 32 feet times 9 feet. This gives us 11,808 feet cubed. The next thing we do is we find the volume of the smaller thing. The smaller thing in this case is our coffee. So I'm going to say the volume of the, I'm going to say P for pumpkin spice latte. This we already know is 16 ounce, so we're going to use that as the volume. Um, but now this is weird, right, because we have a volume, like this is not cool. We have a volume in feet cubed, and we have a volume in ounces. If we're going to compare the two, they need to be the same unit. So. Um, I'm going to change the volume of the classroom into ounces uh, because if I do volume, if I do ounces to feet cubed, it's going to be like a super ultra small number and I'm going to have to change it back anyway later because I want to know how many copies. It's just going to be weird. So, so I'm going to convert. So convert. I have 11,808 feet cubed. But I need to go to ounces. So what I did is I went online and I found some conversions, right? So I found that, okay, one gallon is 128 ounces. Oops. Move this over a little bit. And I found that I could convert between feet cubes and gallons. So I found that one foot cubed is the same thing as 7.48 gallons, which seems weird, but uh, like if you're just imagining milk cartons, but I guess that's, I haven't tried it, but I guess that's true. So, okay, we're going to assume that's true. That would be one of our assumptions. Okay, so I'm going to use those, and I'm going to convert, so it's going to be kind of a multi-step thing. I'm going to start out with my 1,100,808. 11,000, no, not 1,000, anyway. 11,808 feet cubed. So I'm going to go 11808 feet cubed. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my feet cubes into gallons because I do have a conversion for that. So 
I go, okay, one foot cubed is the same thing as 7.48 gallons. So when I do that, my foot cubed here cancels my foot cubed here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go, okay, well, uh, one gallon is 128 ounces. So now these gallons cancel, and I'm left with ounces. So now all I got to do is I just multiply across. So I go 11,808 times 7.48 times 128. And it's going to be a big number. Okay, so I get 11305451.52 ounces. Okay, that's really big. Okay, but so that's my gallon. So I, I mean, that's my volume of my classroom. So I'm going to go to the next page. I'm going to copy that over. So volume of the classroom equals that. Volume of my pumpkin spice latte was 16 ounces. So now I have them both in ounces. I can compare to two because step three says divide them. So my number of PSL, pumpkin spice lattes, for those of you in the know, is a volume of classroom divided by a volume of a PSL. So I take 1130, I just, I'm going to copy that. Ain't nobody got time to not use copy and paste. There we go. And I'm going to divide that by 16 ounces. So if I divide that, I end up with 705, 706590.72. But I can't put 0.72 in a classroom. <clears throat> if, I, if I take the decimal completely off, um, I haven't filled the classroom, so I'm just going to round that up because this is an actual thing. So I'm going to say number of pumpkin spice lattes is 706591. Okay, so that's not our final answer, but that's something that we're going to use. So that gets us through step three. So let me get back to our steps. I'm going to copy this over. Okay, we got the volume of the classroom. We got the volume of the pumpkin spice latte. We divided the two. And now we have to answer the question. Well, the question is, how much would it cost? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write this over. So I know that I have, so cost, oops, cost equals question mark. Okay, so I know that I need 706591 pumpkin spice lattes. And from before, I said that they were 548 each. So if I want to know the price, I just take the number of pumpkin spice lattes and I multiply it by the price. So I go 706591 PSL times 548 per PSL pumpkin spice lattes cancel each other. And the final cost to fill the entire classroom with pumpkin spice lattes, drum roll please would be uh, over $3 million. So this is going to be, I'm going to put this in green because this deserves a green. Okay, it would be da, 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 $3,872,118.68. So it would, this is the main reason we're not filling the classroom with pumpkin spice lattes. But that's our question answered. So that's how you work through a Fermi question.